So welcome back ladies and gentlemen to video four on how to create unstoppable confidence. I'm sure you've been through the past three videos. If you haven't, please check out the links in the description. Make sure you watch them. Um, today I'm gonna pretty much sum it up. You know, we've pretty much gone through the whole stages of how to build unstoppable confidence. But let's put the final icing on the cake. See, ultimately, you and your results will define whether you're feeling confident or not. If I look back at my life right now, I've kind of got to a space where what the mistake I used to make was I used to measure my confidence by my achievements. Now, that's a nice way to do it, but you cannot guarantee your achievements, but you can guarantee your confidence. So how do we do that? What I suggest is this, I'm gonna give you a little, another little simple process to do. This can be done on a daily basis, and it's a very simple approach, and again, I believe in simple things. I think they work. I'm not gonna complicate life, and I'm gonna make it simple. So, you've gone through the three phases. If you haven't, do check the videos out, but you've gone through the three phases, and now you're walking along the road, and you come across a difficult phase. What do you do? Do you stand up, beat your chest, yell, I'm feeling great? It doesn't work. So what you can do, you can create a word in your mind that associates you with power. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna to show you how you can use words as a way to kickstart you back out of a negative state into a positive state. So in my mind, I have a word. Every time I go through a bad state or I'm going through a difficult phase, I need to get a reminder of who I am. So we know who you are because you did that in the last video. Now the word to get the word and to define it. So pick a word, think of a word that you really like. It could be anything, you know, any word you like. It could be a word like boom. It can be a word like, it can be a click. It can be a word like any word that you, you, you that sounds really good to you. So what I want you to do is do a little practice. This may take a little bit of effort, but if you use it, it'll work. Every time you go into a bad state or you're going through a stage where you're feeling a little weak, I want you to trigger that word in your head. Like trigger that word in your head. So think of a word, I'll count three, and I want you to trigger it in your head. Ready? Think of a word, one, two, three, click. Think of a word, one, two, three, click. Think of a word, one, two, three, and click. Now, words have powerful meanings. Don't forget when a baby is born, what's the first thing we do? We give them a name. A name is a labeling, it's an understanding. So what a lot of people do is when they're feeling bad, they say, oh my God, I'm going through such a difficult phase. I want to use that word, I'm going through such a boom phase. I'm going through such a X, Y, Z phase, whatever phrase you've got. Because language internally represents everything. In one of my later videos, which I'm gonna be talking about later, is I'm gonna to talk to you about communication, but not today. But right now I'm trying to say to you that in your journey, of being unstoppable, there will come phases of difficulty. The first thing you could do is watch your video. That's pretty cool, you should be doing that anyway for the rest of your life. Number two is think of a word, a magic word. It's called a magic word for me. Every time I go through a difficult phase, a magic word. Somebody, if, if, I'm, if I'm walking up and down and you see me whispering to myself, it means I'm using my word. It's a reminder for me of who I am as a person. And you know who you are as a person because you've got it all together. So let me summarize in a nutshell. The first step is very simple. Number one, you've got to have clarity of what is, that you're, what is it that you're unconfident about. What is the truth about you as a person? This is the hardest part, and I told you that in video one. It's the hardest part. It's to be honest and true to yourself. For me, that was really hard, but then when you become true to yourself, you'll see the benefits, you'll do it more often. Number two, you've got to decide what is the gauge for you to become confident. What is your confidence meter? What is it that defines you as a person? Everybody is different. Somebody may say, you know, if I could just walk into a room and talk to strangers, I'd be confident. That's good enough. You could have a whole bunch of gauges. So what, are your, what is your gauge? Number three is your action plan, is the magic movie. The movie, the movie that you play in your head. Don't forget, negative uh, images and negative memories are stacked up every single day. And we tend to remember negatives more than positives. What your goal will be over time is to replace that negative stack with a really powerful stack of really great confident images of yourself and sounds of yourself. And number four is bringing it together. Because when you've got a video and you've got an anchor, you've got a video and you've got a word, you've got a video, you've got an anchor, you've got a video, you've got a word. The word means confidence, the word means confidence, the word means confidence. It means that it will instantly empower you. Test me out. Don't, whenever you're going through a difficult time, think of the word. That's it. 
If you think of the word, your brain will remember you as the confident person. It's really, really simple. I've looked at people and I've worked with people from around the world that are very, very, very confident. I've worked with people that have been terrified of public speaking yet now able to speak, including myself. I worked with people that have had no money. I knew a guy who was a waiter, was 26 years old, was a waiter. After five years of making $10 million a year, all he did was use the imagination video and use the word. It works. Look at all the people, even someone like Mahatma Gandhi. He had imagination in his mind that he wanted to free his country. And he must have imagined it in his head about how he's going to plan. Every plan begins in your head. Imagine a great plan with a voice of the director in the back saying, you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it. Replace it with a word. Words are powerful. Words are amazing. So think about this. You've got a Steven Spielberg science fiction movie with a background of a Mickey Mouse show. It doesn't work. There's got to be a sync. There's got to be a match between the voice, internal voice, and the image. And when there's a match, confidence occurs. Don't forget, don't do what 95% of the population do. Try to work towards building confidence by getting validation, by doing achieving things. Work on your confidence in your mind. Get the, the, the voice in the head and the movie in the mind to be in sync. When they are in sync, you will produce results. It's as simple as that. And if there's a little bit of a narrow gap between the movie and the voice, you will find it challenging to do this. When I make these videos today, for example, and I'm talking to you, I don't sit there and I plan and in my mind I think, oh, what am I going to do? I allow my voice and my mind to sync. That allows me to speak this way. You know, like I mentioned before, and I'm just going to finish off in a while by telling you this. I'm not telling you this from some hocus pocus thing I learned while I was sleeping and daydreaming. I've learned this by working with 600,000 people around the world. If you go on Google and you type my name in, you type in some of the Bollywood actors that I've worked with and some of the most famous people, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is not some wishful thinking, positive thinking, and that kind of bullshit, because it doesn't really work. What I am telling you is that these, these simple strategies will work for you. You can have unstoppable confidence. You can build your life to where you want to build. You can do whatever you want to do, and don't let other people tell you you can't. And if they're telling you that you can't, move away from those people and spend time with people that will enhance that voice in your voice, in your, in your mind. Because you can, and you will, and it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. You can become incredible. You can become an incredible person. You can become an incredible you if you choose, if you desire. But confidence is the first step. Don't let people that the confidence gauge has to be huge. A little bit at a time. Small, small, small steps. And I guarantee you that you'll achieve greatness. Do not forget, subscribe to this video and get ready for my next three videos are going to come. My three, next three series, should I say. One is going to be on how to communicate like a champion. One is going to be how to make powerful decisions. And one is going to be the dreaded one, how to handle stress, anxiety, so that you can go through the difficulties of life just like that. I'll see you soon. Take care. Love you guys.